Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Ralph, here today with a tutorial on how to play Revolutionary Etude without hurting yourself and writhing on the ground in pain. Okay, let's get started. So most of the technical struggle in this piece is the 16th note passages in the left hand, like um, just... Um, so to do the 16th note passages, I do strongly recommend starting it very, very slowly with the metronome. So, with the metronome. And then once you're comfortable with it at a slow tempo, you increase the tempo just a, like a couple notches on the metronome. And do that until it's comfortable and repeat until you have it at a tempo that you would like it to be at. One struggle at the beginning of the piece where it goes... Like, I find it sometimes, like, my hands don't line up to fix that problem. Um, one thing I would do is, like, of course, metronome would help, but rhythm practicing, so... Or, and then... Um, and just do that for the entire passage. Not the whole piece, just the passage. Um... Another thing I would do is like set checkpoints and in the music and see if my hands are together at that specific checkpoint. So if I go, are my hands together here? Ooh, they're not. And then like if it if it doesn't happen to line up, I would go back and fix. Then I'll go back like like a couple of notes earlier and see if they're lined up there. So if my fingers weren't lined up here, I might go. They're lined up there, so they're lined up there. Very good. Ooh, that's where the problem is. So then I would like carefully practice like practice just that until it was um, together, and then I would go again. That wasn't very good until like I could get through that checkpoint and I would just do that throughout the entire passage until it was clean and good. One thing about like this general style for loud chords do not approach them from above so do not for like the first chord do not go that's a uh, harsh it's the harsh sound right so you do not want a harsh sound instead um, stay like close to the keys and if you need power um, you just lean forward a little bit, so that's a lot of power already. Or like, if it's supposed to be fast, you can't like go like, and then like you can't exactly expect to lean forward on every single chord because that's just not fast enough. So you can also use wrist. So like, um, less less give in the wrist would help. So, and then also arm weight would help. Like uh, with the loudness of chords. And then if you need to play softly, just like keep your wrist flexible and just give a lot in the wrist. So like for example, so it's definitely going to be a lot quieter than if I just like the difference is in the wrist. Or it's in the wrist. See the next technical challenge, aside from fast sixteenth notes, is like the fast chords, especially Okay, let me get context. Uh, so, like the fast chords, that's also wrist. So, wrist. And then to practice that, you could like try isolating your arm to prevent your arm from helping out. So just... That's all wrist. Also, one thing, um, there's the big jumps here. There's a lot of big jumps earlier where it's like... So, like, the big jumps used to terrify me because I couldn't do them accurately. To practice that, I would... So, play normally up to the big jump, and... When I got there, I would release all tension in my hand, move my hand to the notes, and then, like, rest my fingers on the keys and check if they're the right keys, and then go... So... In practice, that would look like pause, pause, 
And then I would just keep doing that until I felt comfortable. And then once I was comfortable with it, I would just shorten the pause. So, pause. Until it was like uh, in rhythm. But I'd still keep thinking like, pause. Because that helped me like get it accurate. Next part, so it's the same, just quieter. Okay, the next part. Okay, that wasn't very good. Sorry, my hands are like freezing right now. Um, but basically this part just crescendo through it. There's not much to it. Uh, next part, oh lord. Yeah, that part. So, again, like, metronome will help you. Rhythm practicing will help you, like... But one thing I did do with the metronome in this passage in particular, I mean, I did it in a lot of different passages, but in this passage specifically, I did this a lot. So, if I had the metronome on, I could go... Uh, sorry. But then, like, I also practiced with my hand and metronome offset by like a 16th so that would be that would sound like and then offset by an eighth Offset by three sixteenths, so um, and then I would just keep practicing those and slowly speed up, and that helped a lot with the evenness in that part for me, anyway. So if it helped me, it probably will help you. Also, this part is just generally very difficult to read because of all the sharps. So spend some, do spend some time figuring out the notes. Like once you get the pattern, it's a lot easier. Um, let's move on. Uh, next part is just chords and 16th notes, which have been problems throughout the piece so far. So if you've gone that far, you probably already solved those problems. Um, next part, uh, where it goes. <laughs> That's just the same as the beginning, except the right hand is slightly different. Chords are a little bit faster, but again, just like you isolating your arm and just you isolating your wrist and just like practicing it with only the wrist, that will help you a lot with strength and speed in this part. Um, on the chord, uh, so personally, I learned it as. So like these are actually 20 fourths. 24th notes in the measure before so and then this is the first note of the next measure so it goes yeah uh, next part well the rest of it is just like a lot of chords and fast left hand notes which have already been if you've gotten that far you've probably solved the problems already in pre previous parts so I'm not gonna go over them because it's just the same technical stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all the technical problems. Oh, one other practice technique that I find very helpful with this piece and just fast pieces in general is practicing it slowly and without tension. Let me be a little more specific. Um, like by without tension, I mean like without any tension at all. So like when you press down a key, you need to use a little bit of muscle that's and then using your muscles is basically tensing up. So I try to minimize that by like having most of the power that goes into the keys as like just hand weight. So if I play like that passage from one of the passages from the beginning, like So I'm keeping my hand really close to the keys and just like letting the weight of my hand do the actual work 
so that I'm not like actively pressing the keys. One, it makes a great warm up because it does. It's not too crazy, but it also does exercise your fingers a little. So like I do that to help me not tense up on tough passages, and it just helps me just in general with also speed because like not tensing up means you're gonna go faster. Also, it doesn't just apply to this piece, it applies to other pieces as well, especially fast ones and also etudes. Like this helped me also with the Winter Wind etude. I... So for at least four months, the first thing I would do when I sat down was just go... And just like play through it with using mostly just hand weight. To press the keys because that just helped me stay relaxed throughout the entire piece and not tense up and injure myself and essentially not end up writhing on the ground in pain well okay on that happy note good luck have fun and don't tense up don't hurt yourself see you next time <laughs>